So I already showed you guys how to keep your MacBook forever. Now I'm gonna show you how to supercharge it with a handful of apps that are gonna help supercharge it. Let's get right into number one. That's an app called Lungo. Lungo is an app that keeps your Mac awake for as long as you want. I used it when I wanted to keep it awake, saying awake too much. I like using it when I need the Mac awake to download or upload large files. Also, if you don't like screensavers, this is perfect if you wanna step away from your desk, but keep your desktop open and ready to go for when you come back. It just works, no nonsense, no bull and yeah, it just works. Next app is called Hazeover. This is a unique focusing app that allows you to dim the surrounding space of a window in order to focus in more on your current task. It allows for adjustable darker or lighter haze, depending on what you want. And you can also set it so that certain apps never have Hazeover activate at all, if that's kind of what you want. But for the most part, this allows you to lock in and focus on your current window whenever you want. Next up is Supercharge. This allows you to access a bunch of your Mac settings directly from your menu bar. It'll let you do things like hide desktop icons, quit all apps, eject all disks, uh, activate dark mode, true tone, basically a bunch of settings that you would have to go into your system preferences for, or just right click stuff on your desktop. Those are all accessible with the click of a button directly from your menu bar. Not only that, but where Supercharge really shines is when you start exploring the Tweaks tab. It's similar to another app I featured a while ago called Tinker Tool, but after experiencing Supercharge, I'm not going back. There's a ton of different tweaks you could turn on or change, but some of my favorite worth mentioning are a few dock focused tweaks. First of which, when you click an app in the dock, it's gonna minimize it, which is super useful, makes it a whole lot quicker. There's another one that hidden apps will show up dimmed in the dock, knowing you what's not open and what's not in the background. There's also one that lets you toggle stage manager just by clicking the icon at the top instead of the typical window expanding down. So it saves a little bit of time. And then there's also the ability to add dock spacers if you wanna space out your icons and sort it out in a custom way. Next up is Cloud Mounter. This is a unique and super useful app that allows you to directly mount your cloud storage to your Mac as a drive. It supports all the big name providers like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, but also a few others like Amazon S3, WebDAV, FTP, and a few others. What I like about this app is that it makes it so much easier to access or transfer files to my cloud storage. Plus it looks really nice integrating into the Mac and it's a lot easier and nicer than using an app or a browser. And just having it there acting like an external hard drive just makes it so much better. I find it super useful. I think if you use cloud storage, you're gonna benefit from this a lot. And if you do, let me know what you use. If you use Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever, let me know in the comments below. The four apps we just spoke about are available through today's sponsor, Setapp. Setapp is an app subscription service that gives you access to over 240 premium apps for your MacBook or iOS device. Discover apps to power up your workflow and install them with the click of a button and use them for the entirety of your subscription. One of my favorite features of Setapp is available through their middle tier and that's the ability to download the iOS version of certain apps. I use this all the time for a few different apps and I find it really makes it worth it. You could try Setapp for 30 days by using my link in the description. That's four times longer than their normal trial. So you're welcome. Once you're signed up, let me know what your favorite apps are in the comments below. All right, back to the video. Next app is called Later. It allows you to save a snapshot of your currently opened apps and windows and saves it for later, hence the name. Once you're ready to get back into it, to that workflow, you just click your menu bar, click restore session, everything opens back up, ready for you to go. I think this is perfect for when you're working on a project that you need certain references or different files, uh, folders open, and you just have a specific set of windows and apps you need open to get this done. I think it's perfect for when you wanna take a break close everything and then just relaunch it and get right back into it. Next up is Raycast. I'm sure you've heard of this app. There's plenty of videos. You can make a whole video discussing what Raycast can do and a bunch of third-party extensions. Basically what it is, is it's an alternative to Apple's Spotlight Search. It's way better. I primarily use it because I think the layout's better and it works way more consistently than Spotlight. I'm pretty simple, so I've only scratched the surface of what Raycast can do, but you can have it work as complex or as simple as you want depending on the kind of user you are. A few of my favorite Raycast extensions are Color Picker, which allows you to select any color on your screen and get the hex code, along with a few other color-related tools, a color wheel, stuff like that. The next one is Lock Keyboard. This allows you to lock your keyboard for a X amount of time, or indefinitely, depending on how crazy you are, so that you could clean it properly and not hit any buttons by accident. A few others I like are Show Battery Information, which will give you battery information, percentage, time remaining, temperature, cycle count, stuff like that. And then also system monitor. This just gives you a quick glance at a few useful stats about your Mac. Links to everything will be in the description below to the extensions, the apps, everything. The last app we're gonna be talking about is called Folder Preview. If you're like me, you frequently hit that space bar to get a preview of your files. The problem is it doesn't work on folders. 
I don't know why Apple did it this way. It doesn't really make sense. But what this app allows is for you to hit spacebar on a folder and get a view of all the contents within that folder. I think this is way better. This is way faster. And this is something Apple should have shipped with Mac OS to begin with or updated. But point is it should have been there already because Apple, this doesn't help me. When I hit spacebar and this happens, it's not doing anything for me. So I think this is the most useful app and uh, I think you should really get this one. If you get one, get this one. So that basically wraps up the video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite app was and let me know if you use Raycast, what some of your favorite extensions are because that's an app I'm exploring a little more now. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.